Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review, and today from Spin Master in their 12 inch DC Batman line, we are featuring the Boy Wonder Robin. Okay, so it looks like we have the Damian Wayne Robin in his new 52 costume. Um, as you can see, it's in the all plastic packaging, so you pretty much see almost everything. Uh, Great illustration of Batman in the lower corner. On the back, we have some uh, uh, more action figure goodness. Really cool photography featuring Robin at the top. And six figures in this assortment. We have Combat Batman, Stealth Armor Nightwing, which is a great figure, Batman, the Joker, another Batman, and of course, Robin. All right, let's take this guy out. So, if you've been to my channel before, you'll know that I'm a fan of these 12-inch uh, action figures. Um, I know a lot of older collectors kind of scoff at these um, larger toys. And they sometimes call them shampoo bottles because they're essentially just, you know, large hollow pieces of plastic. Uh, but for me, this kind of really... Um, I think it really appeals to my inner child uh, because um, I'm a child of like the late 70s and 80s and I kind of grew up on the older like larger uh, Mego style of action figures. So in some ways you know like the old 12 inch Joes, the old 12 inch Star Wars figures and the, the larger Migos you know I kind of have uh, an affection for those for that older form factor and with these big Batman figures I think they're great. Um, I think they make great display pieces just because of their size. You know, they make quite the statement on any shelf. Uh, if you have, like, uh, little ones, you know, kids, these are super, super great for kids. They're fun to play with, especially since they're, they're so large. They're easier to handle. And they just look fantastic. Uh, the detailing on this isn't bad either. You know, the, I think the sculpting is very clean. Um, I love the expression on Robin's face. It's very youthful. If you've read the comics, you'll know that Damien's often kind of like a grumpy, moody character. But I think this kind of captures a lighter tone, uh, much more appropriate for children. Uh, the, hair, the hair is uh, nicely sculpted. It looks great. Uh, the one thing I'm kind of wondering, like this is a personal choice of preference, but I'm kind of wondering if, if he would have looked better with a black mask as opposed to a green one. But I don't mind the, the green at all. Uh, his logo is cleanly um, detailed on his uniform. And, you know, there's a nice amount of paint application here. Uh, you have the yellow clasps, the yellow utility belt. Uh, he has the two fins on the gauntlets, knee pads, and the boots look nice as well. If you're a customizer, I kind of think that these larger toys are great uh, pieces to customize and repaint. Uh, just because they're made of a harder plastic, which, you know, the paint will uh, have no problem adhering to. And with this larger size, you know, you could get really crazy with the paint job. You know, pull out the airbrush or, you know, add some dry brushing or highlight effects. And it can really breathe some life into these characters. Uh, the one thing that's kind of a downside for me with this style of toy is that often the capes are made of this kind of like weird material that once it gets wrinkled it kind of you know this it kind of just looks worn and damaged uh, but i think for the most part you could kind of correct that by like you know submerging this in hot water and just laying it flat on a table and just letting it air dry and then it should look almost good as new at least in with my passive ex experience uh, in terms of the articulation it's pretty solid for a figure of this scale um, uh, his head turns it's on a ball joint, so you could get some, um, you know, some decent amount of motion in it. Uh, his arms are articulated as well. They go, they could rotate, they could go outward, they could bend at the elbow, swivel at the elbow, and also has articulated wrists, I believe. Unfortunately, there is no articulation in the torso or waist, uh, but he does have leg articulation. And as you'll notice, um, the lower piece of his tunic here is made of a softer, rubbery plastic, so it allows him to kick up without being hindered by that. 
I could also click outward and then it bend at the knees and the knees feel ratcheted which is nice so he'll be able to hold a pose uh, there's even some uh, um, sockets underneath the foot for a display stand although I'm not quite sure what size peg this requires and if you're wondering uh, this is a 12 inch scale action figure and Robin falls in at about 10 and a half inches Yeah, let's pull out some other figures in the 12 inch spin master line just to get an idea of the scale and how cool the figures look together so over here we have uh batman and it looks great you know you have the dynamic duo and then over here we could pull out nightwing so you could like have <laughs> the bat family of characters and let's not forget bruce wayne's other ward we have jason todd the red hood so this is a line of toys that i think gets overlooked you know i know that you know parents love these kind of toys because you know kids love playing with them but at the same time i kind of feel that you know collectors overlook you know this style of toy you know but it's a heavy emphasis on toy but if you're looking for a great affordable display piece you know something that you want to put on your shelf or at your desk at work um, these are great. I love these figures so much. They retail anywhere between nine to twelve dollars, depending on where you buy them, and they're just fantastic. You know, they're quality. You know, you can tell that a lot of love and care goes into these. Uh, whoever designs the costumes, they really do their homework. You know, for example, the Nightwing here looks to be very much inspired by the Arkham video games. You know, with Red Hood here, I believe this is the Rebirth costume. So you know, these are all based off of something and. You know, they're just wonderful, wonderful collectibles. All right, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.